Designs for a Better World. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 172. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 172, July 10th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the information lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of information is now 75% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the beliefs lesson plan. And we completed the third 25% of the mind map for the humility lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. Last but not least, we updated all the icons and formatting on the Highest Good Education Open Source Hub and the Curriculum for Life page. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, which features contributions from naturopathic Dr. Matt Martirano, creator of the coherent model for comprehensive digestive health, this week we compiled the pasta recipes to add to the weekly recipe pages we are creating. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on the continued intensive read and dissecting of Section 10 construction of stem wall and dome and on Section 11 floor construction and Section 13 subterranean exterior ground finish of polyethylene water barrier and EPS insulation. We updated the 6 mil poly horizontal subterranean EPS insulation due to a change in how it is installed, changing it from cutting multiple pieces and patching them together to cutting a single larger ring with a center hole to slip over the dome in a single piece. We'd say we are now 89% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is the initial renders for the central areas in front of the residences and a resident housing bathroom. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 26 of his work that focused on shade structures for a newly designed roof. Jaspreet Sand, graphic designer and computer engineer, also began designing the woodworking makerspace for northwest wing of the Cobb Village Pod 3. 
What you see here is the initial layout of the space created by working in conjunction with a friend of his who has his master's degree in woodworking. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his fourth week of Photoshop work on the renders for the shipping container village, Pod 5. Here you see the final versions of a rental room looking out, the business media room, and the computer room. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is the updated page for the complete village layout. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the duplicable city center sketchup file according to the latest CAD drawing. What you see here is the updated staircase to the basement cellar and a dumbwaiter lift added near the dry storage area. Here you see development of the root cellar in the dining dome focused on the driveway, roll-up door, lower parts of the stairs, and the kitchen elevator. We also worked on the natural pool and spa area locker textures, moved the under staircase rinsing station, and added a rinsing station screen. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, also finished the second 50% of the city center first floor subframe loading conditions calculations, which you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team finished our new letterhead and business card designs, and also our second generation exploration of how we'll be presenting the color palettes for the villages themselves, all instructional materials, interior design, future icon creation, etc. Jennifer Zhao also joined the team and created what you see here, beginning the monumental process of building the new website structure we desire for easier and more graphic access to all the One Community open source content. One community thinks it's time to create designs for a better world. Our idea of doing this is to create open source and free shared do-it-yourself instructions, tools, tutorials, and resources for highest good living. Highest good living is living and creating for the betterment of all of humanity and all life on this planet. And we've broken this down into two different categories, physical sustainability and emotional sustainability. Physical sustainability is food, energy, and housing, and emotional sustainability is highest good education, highest good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. Our idea is to put these things together to create a way of life that most people consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, and we call it an evolution of sustainability, because it provides more of what people want built on a platform of sustainability, combining that physical sustainability with emotional sustainability. And we believe that if we can demonstrate this as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. So we put all these ideas together, the food, the housing, the energy, the fulfilled living practices, the economic models, as well as true earth stewardship and the high school education to create a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that can be built anywhere in the world. Easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that that idea, that teacher demonstration hub will spread on its own. We call that a solution model purpose to create additional solution creating models. And if we can make it spread on its own and you run the numbers on what is possible with that, we could transform our planet for the first time in the history of humanity to one that truly works for everybody within one lifetime, within one generation, we could do this. And so we think that this is a noble enough venture and we want to live in that world enough to where that's what we're dedicating our lives to. And so our all volunteer unpaid staff is working every single week to create exactly that. Bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that believe that this is possible, that we're the ones to create it. We're not waiting for somebody else. And we're doing it. We're building it. We're creating it every week, working towards this. And so now on year five, we have done an immense amount of work. And we invite you to join us. If this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, get involved in what it is that we're doing. Like I said, we're an all-volunteer unpaid staff. So anybody's welcome to help. We've got lots of different ways to do that. Of course, the easiest way is just to share our information on social media. If you want to help in the easiest way possible, help us get the word out. 
We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Facebook. We are on Sue. We are on Twitter. We are on Pinterest and about 15 other social media networks. Help us spread the word. People ask, well, what's the biggest thing that would help? Well, you know, we're not focused on funding right now, but we're still seeking large-scale funding as we continue to put all of our energy and effort into becoming shovel-ready. If we had the funding that we needed right now, we would purchase the property that we've been working around and planning on for the last five years, and we'd be able to disclose the location. We'd be able to share those details. We'd be able to do a lot of open-source things that we can't do without the property. We'd be able to do a site survey and open source that process. We'd start to take our developmental process to the next level. And we would exponentially multiply our team because sharing the property location is probably the number one thing. The number one thing that people want to know is where is one community going to be built? And we can't share that until we own the property. So if you or somebody you know has the resources to help us get the property off the market, uh, contact us. Of course, the small donations help a lot too. $5 donations, $10 donations, Designs for a Better World, even with an all-volunteer nonprofit staff, is a, an undertaking that requires money. And so the small donations help us cover our operating expenses, which are larger than we ever expected them to be for a global organization like ours. Uh, they do add up, and so the little contributions really help contribute to that. This is what one community is doing. This is what we're creating, and everybody's invited to participate. We know that the world that works for everybody is possible within our lifetime if enough people participate, and so we're all about creating designs for a better world built on nonprofit, all volunteer staff, open sourcing everything that we do so that if people want to do it better. If they want to do it differently, they have everything that they need to do that. This is how one community is creating world change. We thank you for following our progress. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. And of course, as I say every single week, thanks for following our progress. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.